Maryland's got 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 Maryland's
And then since then, we've just asked her to meet each other every year. Tommy actually talked and said that. Yeah, Tommy talks. He's not. He's not mute. He's he, he's a he's an interesting cat. Yeah, he talks. Steel, sorry to ask you about football. But, uh, <laughs> playing is playing behind, <laughs> playing behind Ty Hamilton. What, what's that been like the last couple of weeks? Seems like he's playing really well right now. Oh yeah, he's doing really well. I mean, he's just like a big muscle up in there. He just takes up a bunch of space, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, everything those D-linemen do, it's it, it definitely goes with appreciation for the linebackers because, I mean, they take up a lot of blocks and leave us empty, and it, it's it's a really nice feeling. A lot of people have asked you about last year, probably the entire year, but them eating double teams the way they are right now, how different is that aspect of this last year? Um, I mean, they still ate double teams last year. I'm just, I just think it was, um, we just were a little more cloudy on what exactly we were doing all around, all the way around. But now, um, I think we're just more in tune with how they are taking those double teams and how we can capitalize on them. I think a lot more, we just know that a lot more like than last year. So I think that's where we've What's started like, to Like easier What's to pull those gaps, easier to scrape. Things like yeah, that? yeah, things like that. What's that is getting over the screen and maybe freeze you and Tommy up and maybe you know, uh, I think that's a lot of Knowles' scheme. Uh, Coach Knowles, he's a just smart guy. I mean, he's he his goal really is just to set you up to make plays, and it's just our job to really just follow what he's taught us. So, yeah. You think Tommy ever envisions kind of having the look that you have? Does he does he ever ask you about your hair and the, the ensemble? <laughs> no, I don't think that's Tommy's look. He's more like a bald guy. <laughs> You're a bull cut. It wasn't more of a play. It was just, no, it was just really thin up top. It wasn't like a ball yeah. cut, really. And then he just shaved it once he got here. Obviously, both, you know, Tommy and Kate have had great years. Just are there things you've seen in those guys that are different this year that's allowed them to take their game to new levels? Um, yeah, I think um, preparation is definitely one. Um, Tommy, as soon as he gets back from practice, he goes straight to the phone film. He's watching that before a nightly card game. Uh, same with Cade. And then uh, I think it's just, just the mentality that they bring. I mean, both guys, just very vocal leaders for the entire team. I think they're just very contagious in that way. I mean, just, I don't know, they just do a lot, they just do a lot, a lot of good stuff for the team. Yeah. Still, when the, when the call comes in from the sideline now, what, what, what is the confidence level? It's a lot. It's it's a lot higher than last year. Yeah. Last year we go on the field, like, it would be like third and 10, and we're just praying that they don't convert. Now, like, we're thinking like three and out every single every single drive. Yeah. So I think I think the play calling has definitely changed us mentally to just be more confident as a team. Still, Brian made the point that you guys, everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis prepares you for a game like the Michigan game or a game like the Rose Bowl. Mm -hmm. You put into words how like how that works or, or how that preparation prepares you guys for a, for a game like that. Uh, I think it's just um, – going into practice each and every day finding a way to get better so once you get to that moment like those those types of games then you're going to be the best player you could possibly be and I mean it's hard I mean just football football in general it's it's a tough ass sport just physically and mentally like there are some days it's it's hard to get up out of bed and like go do it but I mean you got to find a way to do it because you mentioned you got to find a way to do it does that go hand in hand with the competitive excellence they preach mm -hmm. your day in day out yeah i mean yeah you choose to come to a program like ohio state you've got to compete every single day even if you don't feel like it so, yeah. what's your favorite tommy eichenberg tackle this year do you have one that just stands out i mean we ran a guy down to the sideline i mean there's a lot yeah a hundred to choose from um give me one that just you know you, you just well i i'll say one even though it didn't happen i wish it had it was last game he got on the quarterback and he could have suplexed him, but that probably would have been 15 yards yeah. for us. But that that could have been pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Steel, uh, Steel uh, papers. Our last question, Jacob. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, Ryan's talked a lot about how the running back depth is going to be leaned on a little bit more this week in the chip, um, having practice with the other linebacker there. And you've made the switch before from running back to linebacker. How, what have you seen from backs. Chip? How, what have you seen from uh, Chip now that he's gone from linebacker to running back? Just what are your impressions of him? If Ohio State needs to lean on him. Uh, I think we're just supremely confident. I mean, dude's an athlete. I mean, he can he can really you can put him on any any spot on the field. He's going to make plays. I mean, he's just athletic. He's fast. He's strong. I think putting him out running back would be great for us. Any yeah. chance we see you back at running back? No, nope, dude, <laughs> not doing that. Can he come to you and say, "Hey, if a pinch"? I mean, if it's yes, if 
if they came up to me and said you have to play running back, I'll play it. But I mean, if it's if it's like a decision I get to make, I'll probably won't go back. I'll probably just fumble or something. I had a big fumbling problem, so I made the switch. 